Hey, if you like what you're watching, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world. To the world away, we now got issue four of Ashet Park Works Build the Terminator. Okay, this is going to be quite a fiddly issue. There's loads to do in this, and it's all to do with the upper right arm. Look, don't know my left and right there. That's not good, is it? Uh, let's just show you what we've got to do. There's loads of pieces, and I think the first thing we need to talk about is just the screws. Uh, there's four kinds of screws, and I'll put a picture up on the screen of those. We've got uh, three times PM, two times four mils, uh, two times PM, three times eight mils, two times PM, three times 16 mils, and two times PM, three times 20 mils, as you can see there. The other things we've got here, we've got the uh, plastic grips for the combined right arm components B and C. I'll display that later. And some bits that we pretty much did in the last issue. We're going to repeat that again with a different section on it. And then we're going to be attaching it to this. So looking as it looks, as you can see, we've got quite a few instructions this time uh, to go through. So you may find a few edits and cuts on this uh, as I figure out where each bit goes. Uh, but it is worth saying that uh, we are going to need some parts from the uh, last issue. You have to put that to one side. We're going to need that that we made in the last issue. We're gonna need that. And we're also going to need that, which is where we fitted the end on it, just like that there. So uh, make sure you've got those bits together if you're following along with this. Uh, the only other thing to tell you is what's coming in the next issue. Uh, and that's all there. As you can see, we've got, uh, oh, some more bits going on to this. It says, uh, the assembling the Terminator T-800's lower jaw. We're gonna be starting on that. That's gonna be interesting. I know that in part six, I think it is, uh, we've actually got the jaw part. Now, I have got parts four here, five and six. Um, I don't wanna sort of like put them all out at the same time. So if I am gonna start doing this, um, because they've all come at once, I'll probably leave a gap between them before I uh, release the next one. I am aware that the news agents as well are ahead of the subscribers, although the subscribers have probably just caught up if they've got issue six today. Does any of that make sense? Um, at the moment, I have been getting mine from the news agents just so I can get them quickly for you, but uh, it's causing issues at the moment. And just like the Bismarck, there is gonna be an, a time uh, when you don't see any content from the Bismarck or the Terminator for a good four weeks uh, while I'm waiting for the subscription delivery to come because I want the freebies that come with it. Uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so this is all the parts that have come. Um, I'm just going to put some of these bits out because the first bit we want is the second cylinder, which is that bit there, which is going to roll around. Uh, we need the end for that exactly like last time. And then we just need this plunger, which looks just like that. Now, all of these bits are metal. I'm just going to put that to one side. And just like last time, we're going to be fitting these together. So stage two is basically saying we get this bit here. We're going to be putting that just into the end, just like that. So it fits nice and flush. And then we're going to be putting this sort of plunger, which they're calling, uh, they're just calling it a right arm component. That's just going to go all the way in there just like that. And we're going to be securing that with a free, uh, with an 8 mil screw. Now the 8 mil screws are these ones, looking just like that. So I've got my screwdriver handy. You're going to need a good long screwdriver to get down the full length of this. And like I did last time, it's better to let gravity be your friend on this. So it's better to hold it up like that, load the screw, <laughs> see it's very fiddly isn't it? Load the screw up and then gently as gently as you can drop that down the top there so put that all the way in and then when that's in it's just big enough i can tighten that up just like that and then when that's nice and tight as you can see that is lodged in there looking just like that that takes us all the way up to step three so step four we can put that to one side because we're going to need some other bits now uh, the next bit bring this over we need this sort of go oh, this is going to be fun to get out there let's get me tweezers we need this other little metal arm here i've just uh every bit i get i'm i'm biting to see if it is metal or not we're going to need one of these washers here as you can see i've got one of them there and also we're going to need a 2.4 mil screw which is one of these small ones here and what we're going to do at the end here, as you can see, you've got a little lip and we've got the same, look, I said that little word again. We've got this little washer. Now this washer has a recess in it. As you can see, the other side doesn't. Whoops, and I'm dropping it. The other side doesn't. So what you want to do is the side with the recess is just going to go onto the top there. It's going to fit really snug just on the top. But we do need to hold that in. So we're going to hold that in by this uh, four mil screw. 
I'm just going to balance that on top because I haven't loaded my screwdriver up. And then we're going to be screwing this in. So uh, this should be easy. Let's see. There we go. Screw it nice and tight. There we go. And that's in. So it looks like we've got some sort of plunger that we've made, like a syringe would have, but uh, that's all we have to do for that. Uh, and that was step four. Now, once that's completed, it wants us to take the cylinder that we created in the previous issue. Now, to be honest with you, both of these cylinders are almost the same. Uh, obviously, you can see there's a big size difference. They want it to go in the one that's smaller that you had in the last issue. So when we've got this together, all we're going to do is push this into the end here. Now, if you haven't over tightened that washer, uh, it should go in quite easily and be able to move just like that with some resistance. If you tighten that washer too much, it's going to swell it more. And you're going to have a problem getting that in because uh, the next stage which is step six we're going to need this metal part here let's get that one out put that down there uh, we're also going to need the second washer that we've got here and once again we're going to need another one of these four mil screws just like that and just like last time again remembering that there's a recess in that washer we're going to put that over the top just like that we're going to drop one of the four mil screws in and then we're going to tighten it up so at the moment this is quite easy. I'm only doing it really hand tight until it makes the whole thing turn. I'm not doing it any tighter than that. So that's looking just like that. So step seven, just like we did last time, we're going to take the longer one of these cylinders now. And the piece we've just made there with the washer is just going to be pushed in just like that. So that bits in as well. See, nice resistance. I do like how these things fit together. Uh, that was basically step seven completed. So I can put that to one side because uh, we need another part from the last issue, which is this part looking just like this. Uh, now, the way they're holding it in the magazine, if I show you on the close-up camera, they're holding it this way because we're going to be putting two rubber stops on either side of this. So I've got them here. And as a matter of fact, it's the last things that we've got in this set. And they're going to basically go this way round like that and they're going to go one on this side just like that and one on this side as you can see you've got a little indent in there which is going to go over the rim so that when these are both together they they are able to turn around i've just noticed that and they're only being held in really loosely uh, but that's all we've got to do that was basically step eight now it does say that obviously uh, you can see these can move around it they don't seem to be uh, held in firmly they will do when the parts are put together so that's all we have to do for that one so we can put that to one side this is going together like clockwork isn't it and we need this large metal piece now uh, i'm just going to lay that down because that's exactly the way that they've laid it last time now before we continue on this it is saying it might be beneficial because the screws are going to be going in these holes here to hold them in place with some tape uh, i haven't got any masking tape but what i have got is plenty of blue tacks so in the left side here we're going to be putting in one of the 20 mil screws just like that and we're going to be holding that in place with some blue tack and then on the right side here we're going to be putting in one of the 16 mil one of the shorter ones and that's going to be going in that side just like this oh, get it in and then again once again that's going to be held in by some blue tack so when we got it that way around we can put the units that we're about to put on over these screws so the part that we, as I said, we made before with the long cylinder on it is just going to go over that screw there, just like that. And then we're going to take the other side with uh, the smaller section there with this sort of end on it. And that's going to go on this side just over here like that. OK, now the next bit, we've got this bit that I said we have for the last issue we just worked from, which we put the rubber uh, little gauges on there. Now what I've done, I've taken these rubber gauges off here and put them in here. And I've done the same on the other side here. It's going to be easier to line this up because in the pictures they're showing you to put it on like that and to push it down. But in the final picture, it's actually this way round, which is a bit weird. So I'm going to put it in this way round because that's where it's going to end up. And I'm sure by doing that, it's going to make these bits fit perfectly together. As you can see, so I've got a rubber mount in there. I'm going to put that just over the top here. And then we're going to press everything together just like that. And then the clever bit there, once it's all in, hang on a second, is we're going to turn it over and we're going to be screwing everything together. So let's do that now. Take some of the blue tack off and then I'm going to put this screw in. Once one's in, I think the others will go in really easy. So let's, uh, I don't want it to break apart in my hands because you just know that's what's going to happen. <laughs> But that blue tack was, uh, well, the, the, the tape and blue tack idea is invaluable, I have to say. 
So that's going in nice and tight. And we're going to do the same on the other side here. We'll take that off and then we'll screw in just that part there. Making sure it goes in nice and tight. Lovely. I'm going to do the same on the other side again. Now, don't be afraid to push down hard on this so that it is together. Uh, the reason being is you don't want any seam on these sides here and here. You see, I've got a little tiny one there, but that's about it. You don't want no seams or gaps there and there. Uh, so when they're together, you're just going to have two bits, which aren't really doing much at the moment, which can go out that way. And you see what I mean now about this section here. It's hard to turn it once you've got it tight together. It can be turned but it is a little bit tight and hard, but that's the easiest way I found to put that together. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That was episode four. What do you think of that? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Uh, it's quite heavy. Uh, and just looking at how heavy that is, uh, it does give you an idea of how heavy this whole uh, droid cyborg is gonna be. <laughs> pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so look, I have got step five and I have got step six. They're probably gonna be coming out day gap between them so you'll have something to watch this week we've got plenty of content this week that's for sure uh, if you want to get this yourself then just remember to go over to the link here uh, which is buildtheterminator.com uh, by Asher Partworks uh, and you can still subscribe to this from issue one and uh, you'll be able to start this model it's 120 issues and I'm looking forward to getting this completed but I'll tell you what I really enjoyed that one I like the fiddly ones for some reason anyway hope you like that video take care